Hey everybody, I thought I'd just make a little video here, sitting in the arcade with my cat, Cinnamon, looking around. I've, I've been thinking about uh, maybe painting the arcade, or uh, maybe uh, redecorating it, not sure which which one we which one I'm gonna do yet been thinking about making like a lounge type room because right now I have all I have a spare bedroom and I have all three of my arcades in here and I have my big TV and a couple smaller TVs and I started, I went out and I cleaned my shed yesterday so I can start working on this other arcade that I want to get done. Um, I actually cut some of the uh, the wood for it yesterday. I was going to go out and do it today, but it's a little cold. I kind of messed up my back a little bit, so take it easy for today so I don't overdo it. But... Uh, I was thinking, thinking about painting, painting my room here, maybe. And I'm thinking about maybe, I was looking at two colors last night. I was looking at one color, it's called Gentleman's Gray. But I think that's too much on the black side. It's very, a very, very dark color. And the other one that I was looking at was, um, let's see, I wrote these down, the other one that I was thinking about was, it's called Newberg Green, I don't know if any of you guys and I'm also looking at one called Mossy Oak. Now, if any of you guys want to see what those actual colors look like, those are uh, Benjamin Moore colors. Let's see, I can actually tell you. I don't have the, the Gentleman's Gray. But the Newberg Green over at Benjamin Moore is HC one five eight and the mossy oak is cc 600 those are all over on the benjamin moore website you can look those up if you actually want to see them the the, uh, <clears throat> the gentleman's gray is almost almost black but it's not it's just got just got enough gray in it to take it out of the black and I'm not sure I want that I do like green I like dark greens in particular so I was I was looking at that uh, Newberg green and while it's very dark it uh, with some natural light it, it does have some green in it that you can see I don't know we'll see but I do need to get my get my room here cleaned up. I got any of you guys who who do any streaming at all know. Like I have three arcades, so for every every capture card, you have to have an HDMI cable run into it. And so I've got I've got several cables and cords running from my stuff to my mixer and to my computer and right now i have a uh have my cat six cable going from my my front bedroom to the the very front bedroom run in here so i can get my stuff up on the internet and i've got i've just got parts that i've started collecting i've got the the tele the flat screen tvs and i've got I don't know, eight or ten guitars in this room and stuff. And it's like, I need to get it more, 
more straightened up. This is a project. I uh, I need to take more seriously. I, you know, I was working on. We remodeled the bathroom, and I finally got around. I went in there and I painted the walls and the ceiling for my wife. And I still got to lay a piece of. We got some linoleum for the bathroom floor. It's not a very big bathroom. It's a master bathroom, but it's not not real big, especially since I just we put in a uh, a large walk-in shower, and uh, that was a chore in itself to frame that all in. The floor in there is like two hundred and fifty pounds of mortar in there. I mixed up and put in there. And then tiled it, but uh, I still have I still have to put a piece of linoleum in there to finish the bathroom and a couple other things. But in order for me to put that linoleum in there, I have to go in there and I have to turn my water off because I have to actually take the toilet off of the floor. And it's not really a hard thing, but when it's snowy. And stuff and you have to get up underneath the house and turn the water off and then disconnect that pipe and disconnect the toilet and then lay all that stuff and then put it all back together when my wife goes to work she takes the car so if like if I run into a problem then I would have to wait until she gets home from work to go to Lowe's or something because right now it's just it's too cold for me to ride my bike thought about riding it earlier but I was like nah I'll probably fall down and hurt myself because <laughs> it's like it's the streets are still covered with snow but I did work in my shed and I got it the shed mostly cleared up I got rid of I I got everything put back up and I did cut some wood for that for the other arcade but I think I'm gonna have maybe two more arcades and the wife says uh she wants a pinball machine so we're gonna start looking into maybe assembling a virtual pinball machine but you know like i said i have a, a couple of tvs in here mounted to to the walls and stuff so i'm not sure how to move this around i thought about putting a projector projection screen TV in here to watch some movies and stuff because you know it's kind of a, a mixture of things music room arcade room movie theater and I you know we'll see we'll see what happens I'd like to be able to get it in the shape shape where I can uh, actually show show the I mean I could show it now but right now it's kind of messy like I said I just got cords and cables and stuff and I want it to be a little more organized than that before I start showing the whole the whole arcade but uh we'll see if anybody wants to look at those colors you know go over there to Benjamin Moore and look and I'm gonna play this game here 113. Keep going right past it. Little mobile suit Gundam. I'm not sure if any of you guys are familiar with the cartoon, the Mobile Suit Gundam, but I do like to watch that sometimes. I didn't watch it so much when I was a kid, but here recently, I've been watching some of that in the old Voltron. Of course, when I was a kid, I didn't really care for Voltron, and I didn't really care for mobile suit Gundam but now it's not too bad
Don't do too bad. Clicking the buttons 9,000 times. Got my curtain open behind me and I was throwing, a, throwing the sun right in on this flat screen TV. I just found this game on here yesterday. It's funny, I've had this arcade set up for a couple of years and it's got like 1500 games on it. And I still every once in a while find something new that I like. Looks like we've got a tie going on here so far. Yeah, it looks like I'm gonna lose. Oh, actually made it. Never been real big on these fighting games because I can't remember the all the combinations. But every once in a while, I mess with them. Looks like I am finished. You lost. Seems like if you don't press these buttons like 9,000 times, you are not getting anywhere. Surprising. I think I gotta fight him again though. Yeah. Two out of three it looks like. Yeah, I think that's going to do it for today. Don't forget, I'll be live later tonight. Probably around 7.30, 8 o'clock. Join me then. Thanks, everybody.